is tonight. It's a lightweight contest between Andy Marinos and Brandon Takahara. For North Vancouver's Andy Marinos, fighting is something that comes second nature. He's looking to take the fight to Brandon Takahara. Six guys in sneakers could knock me out, so I uh, hope you've been training hard. A talented striker in his own right, Brandon Takahara has the heart of a samurai inside the cage. He believes he has the key to victory tonight. I heard Andy Marino's got a granite chin. I'm here to see if it's true or not. Coming up next, it's Andy Marino's taking on Brandon Takahara. We're about ready to get underway here. Our first fight on the main card of Battlefield 11. And this is Brandon Takahara. He's got an MMA record of 0 and 1. He trains out of Wachels MMA in Surrey. You know, Wachels, new startup club, just getting their fighters out. So I'm sure he's gotten some pretty decent training. They're really going to be focusing on their fighters because they're such a new club. Their coaches are going to be giving them extra special attention so they can come all be ready for their fights. Both guys coming into this fight 0 and 1. So somebody's going to come away with their first victory in amateur mixed martial arts. Now, with Takahara, he's been training for three months, training very hard. So you're going to see a committed guy expect him basically to keep moving forward in this fight. You know, aggression is always important. Aggression can win you fights. Sometimes the other, your opponent could be landing the better strikes, but because you are so much more aggressive, you get a lot of points, and you actually end up winning the fight. Very tall, very lengthy, probably should have the reach advantage in this fight over Andy Marinos. Like I said, look for Takahara to come out like a bull in this fight. Uh, Andy Marinos, perhaps influenced hairstyle-wise by Dan Hardy. I'm not sure about that, but uh, he's kind of got the red FOMO going on. Yeah, we're going to see if his uh, style is influenced by Dan Hardy. I know Andy sees a pretty decent wrestler, so he's probably going to go to that if he has to, but I think he's definitely going to try and work his strikes tonight. Andy hasn't fought in a long, long time. About a year and a half now, he had his first fight. He lost that fight in the second round to Achilles Estramadura. Uh, he broke his foot in that fight, though, that hampered him. So we'll see. He's obviously looking for something a little bit better. But what that proves is he must absolutely have a heart of a lion because to let your foot break in an ankle lock instead of tapping out, that really shows some really good heart there. Andy Marinas, uh, Marinos, uh, Obviously very, very excited for this one. And, uh, you know, he comes from a fighting family right behind him walking into the cage. You can't quite see him there. Uh, is uh, tricky Nick Marinos, um, a, a very, very uh, decorated local welterweight fighter in his own right. And they've been working together quite a bit. And uh, you see Andy coming into the cage there and Nick and giving him some last-minute instructions. I'm sure he's had some great sparring for this fight. He looks ready to go. Very calm. In fact, both fighters, for being as inexperienced as they are, look extremely calm. Yeah, this could be a good one. Scheduled for three three-minute rounds. And this is the Tap Out Energy Drink Tale of the Tape. Andy Marinos, 11 years the elder. He's one inch shorter. Weighed in at 158 pounds. Takahara at 155. Takahara will have a one inch reach advantage all right now let's send it inside the cage for the official introductions here he is the man himself don andrews ladies and gentlemen this fight will be three three minute rounds in our bfl lightweight division this fight is sponsored by rockstar lager full-on natural beer introducing first the man fighting out of the blue corner 
This man stands five foot nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 and one quarter pounds. With a record of no wins and one loss, fighting out of Watchell's Wolfpack Mixed Martial Arts in Surrey, BC, please welcome Brandon, the last Samurai Takahara. His opponent, the man fighting out of the red corner. This man stands five foot eight inches tall, weighing in at 158 and one quarter pounds, with a record of one win and no losses, fighting out of North Vancouver Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in North Vancouver, BC. Please welcome Andy Marino. <laughs> a little gesture there from Andy Marino, beckoning over Takahara says, come and get some, brother. It almost looked like something from Street Fighter there. All right. Our referee, Kevin Dornan, here we go. Round number one, scheduled for three three-minute rounds. It's Marinos in the black, Takahara in the black, white, and gray. They clinch and go up against the cage. It's uh, Marinos with double underhooks. That Marinos is really working those double underhooks, keeping them really nice and close, and he's trying to spin around, take him back. Good throw right to the back. Takahara spins, but he is just cannot shake Marinos. Nice start for Marinos, looking for that back, gave it up, landed a couple of shots, and we're just 30 seconds into the first fight of the evening at Battlefield 11. You can just see Marinos full of that quick energy, and he's using it very well here. Kind of working the guillotine almost, kind of digging it in his neck a little bit. Not sure he's going to pull guard for that one, though. Seemed to catch Takahara off guard just a little bit. They go to ground. It seemed like Marino's just pulling guard there, and he's looking for that guillotine, isn't he? He is looking for that guillotine, but he only has half guard, and he only had the arm in, so uh, Takahara easily escapes. You can hear the uh, brother of Andy Marino's, Tricky Nick Marino's, beckoning Andy to turn away from the fence. Takahara is going to do the exact opposite. He's doing well. He's pushing Marinos' head against the fence, really limiting his movement. He can't move away from those strikes. Makes a much more easy target to hit. <laughs> I'm watching the fight, but I'm listening to Tricky Nick here. He's the loudest guy in the building by far. We'll see if uh, Andy listens to his brother. And if he's just half as pumped as his brother, he's just ready to go. He is working for that guillotine again, but still only from half guard. But he might have it. He, he uses it. Wait to mount. Transition. Nice transition. Does he have that guillotine? Takahara looked like he was about to tap for just a second there. But now Andy Marina's on top. And he's in full mount. He's raining down some blows. He's got a minute left in round number one. Some good left landing. He's got some time to use it as well. He's just going to sit back and pound him out. Takahara has got to start to bridge, maybe even move towards the fence so he can use his feet to push off it and roll him off. He cannot just lay there and get pounded out. You saw Marinos take a bit of a break. Now he gets the back. He's trying to get his underhooks, trying to flip him over. Working for the rear naked choke. It looks like it might be under the chin. Can't quite tell from this counter angle. He is squeezing, though, squeezing hard, going for the finish. He is squeezing, like you said, Miles, very hard. Kevin Dorton paying close attention. Takahara trying to get that right arm out, successful so far, trying to avoid a first round loss. Our referee, like I said, Kevin Dorton paying close attention to see what's going on. Does he have that rear naked in or not? It's really hard to tell if it's under the chin or not, but he is cranking away. You can see from his face the effort he is putting into this. Hopefully he doesn't burn his arms out. It is definitely under the chin now. This fight is close to being over. 10 seconds left. Can Takahara last? He had it in close there, but it looks like Brandon Takahara is going to go to the second round. Wow, good round for Andy Marinos to start things off tonight here. Very good round. I just hope he didn't burn his arms out too much going for that choke. Uh, Takahara looked like he might be finished, but he was smart, realized there just wasn't enough time left to finish him. All right, here we go. Round number two, and uh, Marinos looks a little bit tired. He goes for the immediate takedown. Pretty lazy, doesn't get it. Tries to throw the left, but uh, Takahara not going down this time. No, Takahara like a full uh, China shop. He is just brawling him over, but throwing maybe a little too hard, setting himself off balance. We have a brawl here. We do with some big left hooks landing from both fighters here. And uh, Andy Marino says, all right, let's just end this fight right now. Let's just stand and train. 
Todd Hart, this is exactly what he wants because he looks like he's getting a little bit better of these striking exchanges using his crisp jab and overhand rights. Good combination. Nice left from Marino's there, Lance. Oh, big uppercut from Takahara catches Marino's. And Marino's breathing heavily through the mouth now. And Oh, big left from Marino's coming back. He is hurt, but he is a warrior. He's using the pain just to turn it on and cover it after, but he really needs to get this takedown. He's getting a little bit outclassed on his feet. Completely different round two than it was round number one. Uh, Takahara looking for the footstep. We got just under two minutes to go here in round number one, and both guys looking a little gassed. They look a little gassed, but Marino's looking a little bit worse, but he throws Takahara now, letting a big punch on the way down. Big left hand and we said Marinos was tired and breathing through his mouth but it's Takahara that's actually acting more tired that was a fairly easy takedown from Marinos it, it would almost look like a fall like just a pu bully pushover but it worked and now he's in top position he's probably gonna try and grind him out right here he's taking a little bit of a breather I think both guys that. are both guys are resting a little bit right now and uh, Kevin Dorn is not gonna like that too much our referee he could stand him up but it's Marinos in top position and, just does a lazy full mount, one of the laziest full mounts I've ever seen. He just stepped over him. You get the feeling, you know what, Marinos, if he lands a few more uh, punches here, this fight's going to be I stopped. Think this fight's going to be over. Takahara looking very gassed. He's pretty much giving up his back here. Marinos is going to be going for that rear naked choke again, but instead just stands up and decides to pound his head in. He stands up. Oh, a couple of lefts, a right, another left, right. All of these landing straight to the chin. He's not defending himself. This could be an end. It is over. Kevin Gordon stops the fight, and these two guys absolutely spent. What a war. What a great start to our Battlefield card here. An amazing war. Two fighters just giving it their all. And they're both, look at Marino's, collapsed in the ring in victory. So happy he can't even stand. <laughs> I'm not sure it's so happy, but uh, you rarely see this picture. Uh, you see one guy standing over the other guy. It's the guy on the ground that won the fight. Big smile on his face nonetheless, though. Well, you got to love it when you see two guys come in and put this kind of effort. He saw Andy there. He goes right up, and uh, uh, Andy, that's an expensive camera, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Andy uh, apologizing uh, to us talking. He's just very excited. Very excited. You can tell. Just by his fight style, what a, what a great fighter and entertainer, and I uh, look forward to seeing him in the ring again. Wow, that was just a war of attrition. It was it was which guy had the bigger tank that won this fight? Takahara just, uh, he's going to have to work on his cardio a little bit. He had Reno's hurt, but he just couldn't in the end uh, finish it. All right, for the official announcement, let's send it up inside the cage. Here is cage announcer. Don Andrews. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kevin Dorman calls a stop to this fight. Two minutes, 20 seconds of the second round for your winner by referee stoppage due to TKO, Andy Marino. I'm not sure that I've ever seen a guy so tired after a second round victory or a guy so happy. Oh, he gave it his all in the ring, and uh, he deserves that win. What a show of heart. He was tired, but he powered through it and came up with a big win.